Good morning. Whew. All right, today we are driving up to Los Angeles, which is about two hours away from me, um, but it's gonna be really fun. We're going to a YouTube meetup with a daily vlogger who's hosting it and a bunch of other people who make vlogs and different things similar to what I do, and I always love meeting like-minded creatives, so uh, let's get on the road. I'm a daily vlogger and I love to encourage people, especially doers. Like if you want to get something done, I want to encourage you to do it. What we're talking about is kind of how LinkedIn is just a digital version of what happens in real life when you're going out to bars, when you're going out in your community and you're meeting people that you know, that trust you and already know who you are and and then you're making connections with them and they're making connections for you to be able to get work. In, in, in our field, which is video and photo. Totally, so to kind of set that up, mm -hmm. I've been going freelance. Uh, I was working at a job like two weeks ago, I quit, and now I'm freelance and I'm trying to get video production clients and it's really hard. <laughs> and I'm asking a lot of people that I know and they have no clue. And this guy decided to host a meetup in Los Angeles, which was awesome, and he actually works at a company that does this. They do yeah. video production for clients. And I looked at his website and I'm all like, how are they getting clients? I wanna know, and so yeah. I'm here to pick your brain right. and figure out how I can get some clients of my own doing right. video work. I'd say the biggest thing, and the biggest thing is just who do you know and who do they know? Like once you have that trust already built with the people that you know and they can see that you've done good work and you've built your portfolio and you've built your portfolio and you've built your brand and you, you, know, you are building it and you have stuff to show, mm -hmm. get that stuff in front of as many people as you can. So a great way to do that is the connections you already have um, you know, whether that's who you've met, like local businesses that you know, mm -hmm. and who they know. Again, it's, it's that like second layer of connection that okay. really creates opportunities. Mm -hmm. So the other thing is, once you do get to do work for one of them, even if it's free work, mm -hmm. and, I, and again, I'm not super pumped about free work, but if you're gonna, I'm, I prefer you working for free than working for a discount. But okay. once you do some work, you say to them, I'm so happy you're happy with this, if you could, uh, you know, if you knew four people who need what I've got, who need done what I just did for you, who would they be? And instead of, they'll, they'll probably say, uh, yeah, let me think about it, I'm, I'm sure that I do. And you say, but if you had to think of just one, like you follow up with that question, just one, who would it be? Nine times out of 10, they'll say, it's Jake over at this coffee shop, I'll connect you. And you get that phone number right away, you set up that meeting right away, like don't stop until you have your next meeting set up. That's what I think it's all about. It's about those second layer connections. Gotcha, so you would say that you actually get more of your work from referrals or people that you already know as opposed to, like I was thinking about sending out a bunch of emails yeah. uh, to every business in right. San Diego. And, right. um, telling them that this is what I do and if you need the service and hopefully one or two of them come through and right. I'm able to secure some clients. But you're saying that you actually think I should talk to the businesses that I already have some yeah. relationship with and see if they have connections that yep. I can use. It's much easier to sell warm than to sell cold. So like if you send out 100 cold emails, you might get 10 responses, you might get two responses. But if you talk to 10 businesses who you already have some rapport with, the chances of you actually getting a, a paying client off of that are greater than you know, the 10 that you are now talking to, but they don't know you. Trust goes so far in our industry. Gotcha, okay, cool. Thank yeah, you so man. much, I really appreciate you, you taking got the time it. to talk to me. Thank you, um, Clark. If you haven't checked out this guy, he's so positive and so optimistic and just <laughs> loves every day of his life and is doing what I hope to be doing in that career. And so he's just yeah. such a big inspiration to me, so definitely check out his stuff Thank if you, you haven't already. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yep.
I just made it back to my friend's house. His name is Colton. He's back there doing work and burping. <laughs> Thanks, Colton. <laughs> I had a really awesome time at the YouTube meetup. It was great meeting Cody, he's awesome, but it was also really fun to meet a bunch of other creators that are on the same level as me, doing the YouTube thing at a low level and talking about our different ideas and what would work and what would not. I got to kind of pitch people on what direction I wanted to take my channel and got tons of good feedback. So thank you so much if you were there, if we chatted and hung out. I really appreciate all you guys' support and uh, just, having fun hanging out. So yeah, thank you. Can't wait for the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Go uh, follow Colton on Instagram because he needs some more followers. Yeah, give me some. Yeah. Share the love. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, see you later.